Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Ubeed Ahmed and this is the third part of verb suit series. Till now we have seen how to set a verb suit, how to intercept requests and how to modify them. In this video I will tell you how to test an application for vulnerabilities by intercepting the response from application server. If you have already subscribed to my channel then a big thank you to you because each and every subscriber motivates me to work hard and bring out more videos. If you are new to my channel then please subscribe to it and join the league of my motivators. Enough of the talking now. Let's get started. Burp suit acts as a proxy and whatever traffic my application sends will first go to the burp suit and then from there it will be sent to the application server. At the application server the request will be processed, the processing will take place and once the processing is done, the application server will send back the response and this response will first reach my burp suit and then it will be sent to the front end of the application. It is due to this behavior that I am able to intercept the request, modify it and send it to the application server and also able to intercept the response sent by the application and modify it. Developers sometimes commit the mistake of getting more than the needed information from the application server. Then they filter it out and display the relevant information on the UI. They have an assumption since uh, the normal user won't have access to the response of an application, they will just see what's there displayed on the UI. They are correct, in most of the cases this is true. However, this mistake can be a gold mine for penetration testers, hackers and bug bounty hunters. Once I was testing an application and I was very impressed with the kind of security that they have implemented. User was supposed to uh, provide a registered mobile number and registered email ID. Then an OTP was sent on their mobile number and email ID. So I was very happy to see this uh, kind of security. But when I actually checked the response of send OTP request, then I was shocked to see that the developers were actually displaying the OTP in the response so i mean i can log in as any user i just need to know their registered mobile number and registered email id so at this point i will tell you about the client side validation and the server side validation when you're filling up a form and uh, you enter numeric values into a name field the application stops you and does not allow you to do so this is because of the client side validation it's good to have client side validation However, if you don't have server side validation, then client side validation is also of no use because you can enter a valid value into name field and then intercept the request and then change it to numeric value and then send it to the server. And if there is no server side validation, incorrect values will be saved into the database. Now this thing can lead to many issues. Let me explain it to you with the help of an example. Here I'm sending a request which will go to the burp suit first. Suppose I am requesting for a resource. Now once I forward this request, it will reach the application server. Now here the processing will take place and once the processing is done, the application server will send back its response. Suppose the application server response that I am forbidden to access this resource. Now this response will reach the burp suit. Here I can make the modifications in this response just like we do in case of request. Suppose I make the modification in this response and modify it to 200 OK. Now the browser will receive this response and if application is vulnerable, then it will allow me or grant me access to this resource which I was not supposed to access. Now let me show you a practical example for it to make it more clear to you. Now here we have a dummy bank application where we have two tabs, home tab and login tab. If I go to login tab, then there's just option to log in and nothing else. Okay, let me just resize this window. Okay. And also open my burp suit side by side. I'll just turn on the interceptor and refresh this page okay here's the request which was intercepted right click do intercept the response to this request now we have asked the burp suit to also intercept the response that will be sent back for this request forward it and here's the response that we have got 
and in the response we have a HTML code let's just scroll down okay we have some text over here we have okay we can see that there is this commented text over here a commented HTML code so just uncommented let's just forward it okay so by modification in the response we have uncovered a hidden option let's click on it okay we will again intercept the response for this request now here i'm being redirected because i'm not logged in and i'm not authorized to view the further things let's just change it to 200 okay and here we can see that we have a html code over here let's just forward it okay so we have got some buttons over here and since we have got a logout button over here this means we have logged into the application and a session is being created let's just intercept the response for this request as well and the application responded with blank values let's fill them up with our own values admin and my name is also admin role is also admin forwarded okay now let's click on this account information right click over here do intercept response okay it seems we have got some meaningful information let's quickly forward it and here we have got the username and we have also got the password let's just copy this password okay i'll just turn off the interceptor maximize it and log out login and I'll just paste the password which I copied login and we did it we found out the details using response modification and use those details to log into the application okay I will give you another example of an application that I was once testing uh, you were supposed to provide your username in order to log in and then an OTP was sent on the associated mobile number. So this mobile number was displayed in the response. Now this was the case of sensitive information disclosure because you were disclosing or leaking out the sensitive information about the user. But that's not all. If I change the mobile number to some other mobile number, then that OTP was sent on the change mobile number. So like it was very good because I can enter any username and then provide my mobile number. I'll get their OTP and I, I will be able to log in to their account. Till now we knew that it's possible to intercept the request and modify it to find out vulnerabilities. But now after this video we also know that it's possible to intercept the response from an application server and modify it to find out the vulnerabilities present in an application. I would recommend you to try these things on DBWA or any other application that you are authorized to test. Please don't use this information for hacking or any illegal activity. I strongly condemn it. In case of any questions or doubt, you can always contact me on Instagram or Facebook. The details are in the description and you can always comment on this video, like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with another video. Till then, goodbye.